Howdy ho my peeps. Okay, I'm getting my weekend started. I'm here at my favorite pedicure place, Boudoir Spa. Um, and I've already, oh, that's weird looking. I've already had a big morning. We took the dogs to the pet hotel already, went over to the German bakery, or rather the Russian bakery, and we bought the bread for the sandwiches. And now Grant's off putting fuel in the car, and he's gonna buy a big old bag of chips at Costco. We're gonna go home, get everything loaded, and we'll probably leave our area around four and get to the coast three, three and a half hours later. So. I needed to take this little time for myself. My toenails are all broken and ugly, and I wanted to do something fun for, for this Memorial weekend. So, anyhow, I'm enjoying my, oh, my peeps. Okay, I'm at the massage part of my pedicure. Very talented pedicure technician down there doing my feet and legs. Now, I've never taken a Quaalude, but this is how I imagine quaaludes must feel. I am relaxed for the first time in days. And it's really too bad that I'm going to have to ruin it by going home, packing the car, and driving over to the coast. <laughs> Next, a mental note. Next time I have a pedicure, make sure I'm going straight home to bed. <laughs> I forgot. Hi, Joanne. I wish you were here with me. Howdy ho peeps, Gracie's over there doing the ironing. I brought these table drapes and they're totally crushed as you can see. And we're, it's almost 11 and we're getting set up for the lunch for the memorial. So it's almost 11 at night. So um, Mr. Grant's over there, he's reading his Facebook. Let me, I'll show you guys what I made. I need to get up and it's going to be difficult. So here we go. Let's see. I'm going to make lots of grunting oh, noises. Oh God. Okay. Oh, this hurts. Oh, owie. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to stand up. Okay, guys, wait. Here we go. Oh, oh God. Okay. I'm up. She's up. All right. So anyhow, out here, you can hear the ocean. Out there in that blackness is the ocean. Such a great sound. So this is what our room looks like. Um, it's got a fireplace over there. I moved furniture so I could put the tables on either side here. And, you know, it's just your typical room. Um, this is how I've got the table set up for napkins and that sort of thing. And I want to show you guys this. I made this um, floral banner here. I'm going to take it over here now where we've got a little bit more light. And I made this because, um, here, put it here. Um, there. I made this thing because I wanted to put it outside the room so that when people looked at the sliding doors trying to figure out where the party was, they would see this banner and know it was here. But what I did is I went to 99 cent store, let me show you, and I bought this green metal trellis that you see there, and then I covered it with some screening that I had and just kind of sewed the screening down. And then I took my glue gun and a bunch of flowers that had been at my mom's house. All these flowers were my mom's. She had them in arrangements around her place. So I just, you know, just started gluing them on there. So that's, that's that. So... I'm tired and I'm going to sit back over in that chair and hope that when it's time to get back up I can well, do it. my peeps, it is 8.53 in the morning and this is what I got to wake up to today. Isn't that lovely? So pretty. There's the fire pit we're going to gather at or maybe we're going to gather at that one right there, I don't know. And this is what my banner turned out to look like. So people will know where they're going when it's lunchtime. And let me show you my look for the day. Okay, this is my look for the day. I'm um, 
very mermaidy looking because my mother liked to see me mermaidy looking. So here's my sister coming up with her buddy Marty. Don't <laughs> Got it. Just wave hi to YouTube and just go on by. <laughs> Oh shoot, nobody in my family likes to be on camera. What is wrong with those people? Okay, so, well, we're just waiting for the festivities to begin. I've got all the food ready to go, and uh, now I need to see if my kid made it in last night. He was supposed to drive in about, oh, hey, did you see your brother yet? No, say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Yeah, okay, that's my other kid, Nick, but you guys know him so, already. My niece Amanda is a school teacher, and she had her kids illustrate this story that my mother had written a long time it's called, ago. It's called Harold and the Wimpy Cat, written by Elizabeth Silvani. Harold was my father, and this is a story that my mother told. There's a picture of my mama, and she, would, she told this to my uh, niece's uh, class, this story about how my dad went to... Um, school on the first day of school. There he is. And he was very proud because he was walking alone. And he gets to the school and he discovers that his cat, that black thing right there, had followed him. So he goes into the heat. He tells the cat to go home and he goes into the classroom and he was having a really, really good day. And then all of a sudden he sat next to a girl named Beverly who became his friend. And all of a sudden, the cat jumps on his desk. The teacher says, you have to take that cat home. Oh, no. My dad was so embarrassed. And then his friend Beverly says, hey, you know what? She says, um, can I t help him take the cat home? And the teacher said, sure you can. So they walked, they picked the cat home, and they up, and they took it home, and everything was um, happy, and my dad had a wonderful time in school, and they became best friends, and there you go. And then these are all illustrations that um, my my niece's kids did about the about school and so forth. And that's a picture of my dad when he was a little kid, and he cute? So anyhow, um, my niece, Amanda, had her kids write this, write, uh, illustrate this book and so we're my they had a bunch of these printed and we're going to be giving them out to people here so I thought that was a darling idea and as long as I'm doing show and tell this is the memorial card I made up for my mom there she is in her little angel angel uh, frame and this just says uh thank you for joining us to celebrate the life of Elizabeth Silvani please take this time to pray and reflect on her life and the lives of those who have gone before her, uh, especially those who we've recently lost. And then uh, there's my dad, Harold, my aunt, Charlotte, and my cousin, Ginger. They all passed away recently. And this is my mother's favorite quote. She would tell us all this all the time. Um, let's see. Can you see it? There you go. The past is history. The future is a mystery. But today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. And then on the back side... There's Mama and some Butterflies, and then the lyrics to her favorite song, um, Oh Come Angel Band. So this was the memorial card that I made up, and I used one of my scrapbooking punches and punched the, the corners. I thought it looked really cute. So there we go. We're all ready. Um, I think I see family of mine way out there in the horizon. So crazy. I'm Are we going to head out to the ocean and yes. get wet? Can I, you want to say hi to you too, Martha? Or not? Okay. This is, this is Nick's friend, Anna, and she was gracious enough to join us. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, isn't it beautiful? This, we have a really, really strong, strong onshore wind today. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle, but my brother's going to manage to get on out there and say bye-bye to Mama and Daddy. got in about three o'clock this morning and um, I've got my mom's family's going to be here fairly soon so we're just going to kind of wait for them and then then we're all going to gather back down here. Right? I had to come back in and sit down and I need to call my 
rest of my family. It's about 9.30. We're supposed to do this thing at 10. and looks like we probably are. Then I just needed to get in out of the wind. Oh my gosh, it is windy out there. Um, not horribly, horribly cold, but windy. So any hooter, I'm, uh, we're getting closer and closer to the big event. I have to get mom and daddy and take them down there to my brother. So that's what I'm going hey, That's to my brother and his friend David and uh, my cousin Daniel and uh, my brother's girlfriend Terry. They are getting ready to, we're not going to paddle out because of the the um, the, uh, the offshore winds are just, onshore winds are just too strong. So what they're going to do is they've got my mom and dad in the wet pack and they are going to just uh, go out and dump them. <laughs> I put my mom in a Lassen's bag because she loved Lassen's grocery store and my dad's in a Trader Joe's bag because he loved Trader Joe's. So, and I'm going to give you a little 360. We've just got some a lot of friends and family here. It's really, really nice. There's my son Chris, center stage in the rich sweatshirt. And here's my my mom's family is gathered right there. So there you go. And off they go. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this for posterity. That's going to be, they're going to be fighting those waves to get out there. Oh, got a little drop off. Be careful, everybody. They're heading for a sandbar that's out, out there. Five minutes later, they're still struggling to get out there. A little while ago, we saw a whale. Whales are all over out here. And uh, the in the room, they provide you with a set of binoculars. So you can come out here onto these cliffs and you can stand on the cliffs and do some whale watching. They have lots of little benches and stuff out there as well. So I'm gonna give them a chance to get out there. Okay, and they are unloading Mama and Daddy. And there they go, into the big Wawi. And I believe they're just gonna throw the flowers out and let them wash back up on the beach. I'm surprisingly uh, calm about this. Not entirely though. Man, they are just struggling hard. Okay, done and done. Give those flowers a toss, Uncle Stu. I think Daniel's got the flowers, actually. It would be kind of funny if I fast-forwarded this part. <laughs> okay, there goes Mom. And they're done. Guy, this is so shaky. Sorry, it's going to give you guys motion sickness. And there goes the flowers. Oh, my peeps. Okay, this turned out really good. That my chicken turned out great, and the barbecued tri-tip was wonderful. We did a sandwich bar here with sauces and stuff. And then over here, my sister put together this dessert bar with cookies and little mini bunt cakes. And you guys recognize, the, recognize those, the $3 cheesy biscuits. 
And we've got a penny pasta salad with a lot of basil. And then over here, Christopher's friends made this absolutely killer salsa. And I've got more. I've got to bring it out. And this is wonderful. This is an oil salsa. And some homemade hummus. So, there you go. It turned out really, really good. Gracie, are you satisfied with our with our yes. endeavors? Yes. Gracie says yes, she's satisfied. And out here, I've got family, and Glia and Joe, my aunt um, Wanda, my uncle David, and my aunt Brenda. So we got the family all up on the board. Exact same elementary school that my grandfather um, went to kindergarten. So it's called um, Pinkerton Elementary School. 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 Pinkerton
wrap all of this up, um, this memorial went as perfectly as it possibly could have. Uh, driving home or flying home so um, yeah it was a really really good send-off for both my mom and my dad um, so yeah what do you think Gracie do you have anything to add yeah this is a lovely place for anybody who wants a quiet beach type setting that is all I have to add yeah um, incidentally we are at the Cavalier Resort in San Simeon, uh, Central Coast of California. So, I hope everybody had a great Mother's Day, and I will catch y'all on the flip side. Bye! Okay, here's a sight you don't see every day. A beach full of elephant seals. These beaches along here are covered in elephant They smell atrocious. Thousands probably. Definitely hundreds. Unbelievable. Oh. And you can see some of them swimming out there. Swimming up to shore. There's a little guy out there in the water right there. As you can tell, I'm bathroom vlogging again. <laughs> we, we were coming home from the coast. We got, I don't know, a third of the way. We decided, oh, well, we better do our bathroom breaks. And so we're trying to find a bathroom. We go into the, the jack in the box and both of the bathrooms are locked. Can't get into them. And I told Grant and Gracie, I said, you know what, you guys? You're probably in one of my dreams. I have these dreams where I'm looking for a bathroom and I can't find it. And I'll think I see one and when I get to it, it's something else or it's just horrible. So we may be in a dream. So if we can't find a bathroom at the next stop, then we're in my dream. Well, we found a bathroom. We happen to be in the Home Depot. So anyway, I couldn't let this, uh, couldn't let this video go by without a bathroom vlog.